Hey everyone, this is me, Mohammed Kamran, and welcome to my channel, Game Animax. In this video, we will make this, and this is the scene, which is the undersea, and there's a shark inside of it. So. Here's the scene we have created on After Effects. Let's create it once again. So I'm going to take the new composition 1280 by 720 and then take the new layer. And the same, sorry, is 1000 by 1000 pixels. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Make It Precompose. And after pre-compose, I'm gonna double click in this layer and come inside the layer after this, uh, just apply fractal noise. And after applying this fractal noise, you can see there's a texture, both sides. Double click and go inside, double click here and inside of the composition. I'm going to make the same size of inside composition which is 1000 by 1000 pixel. Here I'm going to select dynamic progressive invert and just play with the parameters of fractal noise like some scaling or some evolution animation. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to alt click and write the script is time star 200. So by this it will continue it, this animation will be continued it will not stop you can say output so i'm going to make it 3d rotation suppose 90 degree from x-axis and take it down like this so if i will play you can see there is a reflection of waters like something like this just going to scale it Well, I'm going to take the mask, double click on a mask and press F for the feather, sorry, mask, expansion, then feather. Feather will make it the uh, edges into smooth, from sharp to smooth. So you can see there's animation, this is a beautiful animation of the portrait surface. And now I'm going to Take the new solid and make it color of little bit blue, suppose like this. This color I'm going to put in there and just going to go to the soft light. Soft light will help you to resolve this background into the bordering surface. I'm going to take the another effect which is CC vector blur and vector blur and it's about just a little bit high well prox 11 11 percent amount now I'm going to play this so as you can see this fine I'm going to do just take the duplicate After duplicate, I'm just going to resolve, sorry, delete the vector blur, recompose this layer. C level is the top side of the C and then double click on this layer. Double click this one. Double click. Make it 3D is also as well. Okay, I'm going to import this tie here like this, make it 3D as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the back side of this guy. Okay, up the top row, something like this. 
and just uh, what I'm going to do I'm just going to make it pre-compose and then make it 3d after this I will take this on the downside something like this and go to the alpha when you click in the alpha just apply the glass effect CC glass and now you will see the magic this is the C level this one. so it will suppose 6 point no we need more displacement nice I think this some more 480 yeah play with the amount the shadings and their parameters just try to play with it. just just try to play with it as you can see the both layer is busy I have taken the another duplicate of C level make the name of C rays and I will apply here on CC radial blur radial blur will help you to take sunlight inside of the C so let's make it I'm just going to isolate fading and just decrease increase the fade and go to the top this the more you took it to the top it will come down like some light as you can see just dissolve it into add wow this looks pretty cool level to make it more brighter more brighter like this look at the beautiful beauty this one is something looking nice now you can see these beautiful thing I have downloaded this uh, video from in the chroma shooting this there are three there are three fish I'm just going to mask this. go to the effect apply key light pick the eyedropper and pick this green color so it will disappear now it will swim because it's animated so apply curve to make it more darker because it is in the sea levels obviously it will be dark just apply a glass sorry Gaussian blur To make it a little bit blurry just a little bit blurry so now you can see they are swimming under the water beautifully and there's a, you can see there's a sh shadow as well so we need to create the shadow what we will do for this uh, we just need to take out the duplicates by control D give the name fish rays I'm going to apply CC radial blur the same thing I'm going to do this fading and go to the top row fading fading got to the top row increase it now this looks pretty cool beautiful Wow.
Now this is something looking great or looking beautiful. Furthermore, I'm just going to adjust the adjustment layer. I'm going to give the name of color correction. With the help of it, I'm just going to clear some more colors and sharp colors. Curve, make it increase from the top side and decrease from the down side. Tint, tint will help you to balance these colors something like this you can see there's a beautiful rays comes inside of the sea another adjustment layer no oh, sorry solid double click on a mask or make it the mask circle mask subtract and feather press F and feather so now it will going to be going to have a great look you can see this or furthermore you have learned I hope you have learned this is how to create a simple sea scene inside of the sea under Adobe After Effects something like this so I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this, so subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you can get my new exclusive video. Thank you so much.